I'm not taking a shot at them with that saying like I ain't no stunner like this is stunner uh, P might say four or five purple Hummer Jags for the summer my sitting on 20 but I ain't no uptown stunner so Birdman may stunt cool for sure play for Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. I, I gotta, we looking at it different because we're in two different parts of the world. Oh, so that's how it be with us in the South, even with the music. The way they see it and the way we see it is different. It don't mean it's wrong, it's just we from two different parts of the world and we just do it different. Explain to me, Sharani, this billboard that we learned about last time, we got, or, or this painting mm -hmm. where people would put their album. You was too young. You might have been too young. You talking about Peaches Records? Yeah. I'm, mm -hmm. Hell yeah. No. No. I remember that. So, so tell me, what well, was that about? Well, back in the day, I remember Peaches Records. This was in Gentilly. That's where it was at. Not, you know, she got it. Correct. Um, a magazine. You know, a magazine. Yeah. But back then, it was um, in Gentilly in the Seven Wall around Dilly University. And I guess that was the advertisement. So you could pay for the wall. So you might see a No Limit Soldier Rag album on that with Juvenile, a 400 Degrees. Uh, you might have the whole No Limit tank painted on the side of the wall. That was just good advertisement all the labels wanted to promote their album or their record label logo so you will buy the pizza's wall and that person to paint the wall and everybody get to see your album uh your record label logo on the side of that wall like big boy records uh cash money no limit uh a slew of other labels you know releases uh albums or whatever wow Birdman, she said he had the longest run on that where he had mm -hmm. it on there for a long time yeah, like, yeah because yeah. he just wanted to he she said he baby you know like he yeah. he gonna do it big you know yeah that's how he is he gonna let stunt down like he really <laughs> let you know like and i'm gonna say this too because a lot of people always talking about the stunt you know uptown i know from what i my daddy from uptown a lot of my people are my dad some of my mom people too but most of my daddy people from uptown and at one time stunting was a bad thing like nigga, oh this so stunt bragging what he got right. that was frowned up on birdman made it better because soldier slim says like think as i'm from uptown and i love stunt you got me with my people though so slim was kind of taking a shot at them with that saying like i ain't no stunner like this stunner uh p might say four or five purple hummer jacks for the summer my on 20 but i ain't no uptown stunner so birdman made stunt cool for show play boy how can i stun us with these cars Love. You know me, I don't need no introduction. But everybody uptown wasn't just acting like it was cool to stunt. And that's documented. There's a lot of other songs I'll be doing this shit day. I'm not about to do that, but people from New Orleans know that that wasn't the thing. Birdman made that cool. All I'm hanging wrist, blinging, just stunting in this. Drop the top, block is high, stay bumping. To be a stunner, and that's why everybody won't be the number one stunner. So you telling me from uptown, he they known for being stunned. Well, now I would say, I'm not saying, because everybody in the city, I mean, people in Detroit was stunned. but I'm just saying, them. but people would look at them and say. Well, now I would say that's like a way of life. That's like what everybody want to be known for to do. But at, back in the day, that no, wasn't something it, that people wanted to do. But when Birdman did he it. He changed the culture, yeah. yeah. Hopping out the platinum hummer with the platinum grill, with the platinum pieces Why? and the platinum chain. Was he, what, that was some that part of the. That was uh, a part of the marketing thing. That's See, what I'm Puffy saying. Puffy said, Baby said he looked up to Diddy because Diddy was always stunned with the with the Versace and the driving the cars backwards with him and Biggie. So Puffy, Baby looked up to Puff. That's why he said I looked up to J Prince, Puff, and Suge Knight. But he found his own way. So he like with the champagne and all that, he really put that out there. That flashiness. That's why Detroit people love New Orleans because New Orleans dudes be street, but they stunt. But that's that cash money lifestyle. If you look at No Limit, they really wasn't on that stunt shit as much. P. Wolf Versace and he put diamonds in his glasses but that wasn't the whole angle cash money was like we gonna do helicopters on the stage we're gonna do donuts <laughs> we're gonna leave the tags on the car we're gonna wear two watches like that was what baby did nobody wasn't doing that shit like that like like big boy and it was going hard too but that that wasn't the image so when he took on that name cash money records he really embodied this stunning flashy shit. Oh, and what's on your wrist yeah, you can have what the white ball don't worry about that that's really how you do it and that was just baby whole personality even to this day you know who i be it's all about the lifestyle and about the flash and the shine and all that chrome blade candy paint 300 mil cash money rich game man so when you when you look at the uh the diamonds in his mouth my diamonds baby, in his mouth yeah all that, that came with it didn't he yeah it took the, the big goals long out. buses and all that man Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.